Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. May peace and mercy of Allah be upon all of the viewers. Alhamdulillah, I have come here once again with a new topic. Today's topic is totally based on how rapidly you can speak and the preconditions of your rapid speaking. Today I will be discussing about some tips and tactics of precondition of very very fluent speaker. So if you wanna be a a rapid speaker in your personal life or practical life then you must follow some rules and regulations first of all you make sure that you have a good knowledge about all types of breaks basic structures let me give an example suppose if i ask you to say something about the past tense or about the past activities and if you are clear that you have a good knowledge about the past activities, past trend structures. If I ask you to make any types of questions or any types of sentences about past activities, and if you can ensure yourself that you can make easily about any types of sentences using past structures, then I'll confirm that you'll be able to make yourself so rapid speaker about the past activities. In the similar way, if you can speak the present structures and if you are sure that you have a good qualities or good knowledge about the present activities how to construct any types of sentences or present times and if you can ask a questions and you can answer as well then it would be more better for being a rapid speaker in the other way if i also ask to any persons if you are clear that about the future activities if I ask you to create any types of questions, any types of answerings and making affirmative to negative about the future activities, then it would be also more useful for you to being a very, very rapid speaker. So first of all, if I ask you to any person or if you are asked to any types of questions about past activities, present activities and future activities, and if you can easily answer making the coherent and also making the balance about the past activities present activities and the future activities then it will become an ideal fluent speaker otherwise you will not become an ideal fluent speaker so make sure that you have a good structures you have a good knowledge about the past activities about the present activities and about the future activities about all types of structures and simple sentences so you can make Suppose if I am asked to say, what did you de de do yesterday? Then if I answer that I did yesterday a lot of works and if I use the past form, like I went, I ate, I made, in a similar way, if you can answer easily. And if you are asked to say that, did you do? Then if you can answer that, yes, I did. In a similar way, if I ask, do go to college regularly if i answer in the present sequence yes i go to college regularly in the same way if i ask you will you go to college and if you can answer yes i will go to college maintaining the future tips future links or future activities or keywords in the past you all time should use the past form that means verb two and the present times you should all time use verb one and adding s or yes with the subjects and in the future time you should be more careful about using morals will i will go i will be going i will have been going for 10 minutes i will have gone i'll eat i will do many things i'll write in the same way if you can easily make sentences about the past tense sentences about the present sentence and about the future sentence then it will be confirmed and i'll be confirmed about your speakings about your rapidness and it would be more better for your fluency so first of all, make sure you have a good knowledge. You don't have any problem in making past sentences, present sentences and future sentences. And you can make also coherent. Okay, dear viewers, I'll come back with the new topics or the part, uh, part two about these videos later on. And I hope that if you have the good knowledge about my videos or if you find any new things about my videos, please make comments and give some suggestions in the comment box. and Pray for me and pray for everybody or for, pray for every English-loving people. Until then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.